Uh, the residents of Jimmy Wanjigi in Mothaiga this evening with police who had earlier surrounded his home looking for him, uh, vowing to um, storm his house if he does not surrender. Our Gatete Njoroge is there. And uh, Gatete, is there any further updates that you have for us now? Thank you, Yvonne. As you've put it, yes, we're still camping outside the residence of Safina Party leader Jimmy Wanjigi. And Yvonne, as you've put it, yes, I have an update. I've been able to talk to Jimmy Wanjigi's lawyer, Willis Otieno, a few minutes ago. And what he has told me is that what is happening at the moment is that police have been able to access the main house. And this is after they forced their way in. Uh, the lawyer tells me they broke the door, the main door, and they were able to get in. And uh, they did uh, cause a massive damage. At the moment, according to Wanjigi's lawyer, Willie Sotieno, is that what is happening is that the police officers, and which we understand now, they are not just police officers from Nai Nairobi area, but this is a multi-agency operation where police officers from different uh, from different formations are here, are camping at his home. And so what is happening at the moment, Yvonne, according to the lawyer, is that they are moving from one room to the other, searching for items. They have not been able to disclose to the family and to the lawyer what they are really looking for for in those rooms but they are moving from one room to the other and the information we have at the moment is that that is what is going on inside the home uh, the lawyer is challenging uh, the, the action by the police he has told me that uh, the police officers are conducting these searches without such warrant and that is the issue that he has been able to raise and also Willis Otieno, that is Jimmy Wanjigi's lawyer, has also told me that um, they have also dismissed the report by the acting inspector general about the items that were recovered in one of the vehicles that were recovered at his home. And they are saying that those items were planted by police officers. That is from Jimmy Wanjigi's lawyer. They say they have proof they they were able they they saw police officers coming and uh, and planting those assorted items among them uh, for tear gas canisters and so th that is according to Willis Otieno Jimmy Wanjigi's lawyer uh, in regards to his client Jimmy Wanjigi whereabouts and if he has been arrested Willis Otieno has told me that he's yet to be arrested and that he is safe wherever he is but he is not where the police are and at the moment uh, Willis Otieno is together with other family members are with police officers who are inside his home. They have been able to access the main house. And at the moment, what is happening, Yvonne, is that they are doing such and they are moving from one room to the other. We have moved closer to the gate. And if my cameraman, uh, Kevin, can just show you, this is the situation outside the home. Uh, it's, uh, we, are, we are now about just 100 meters away from the main house, Yvonne. And as you can see, there are still very many police vehicles here. And uh, an operation is still ongoing. Yeah, and, and according to the lawyer, Willie Sotieno, he has been able to share with us. And the information we have, Yvonne, is that at the moment, police officers have been able to access the main house. And they are moving from one room to the other in search of items. And they have not disclosed to the family, according to the lawyer. They are saying that. And we have lost the signal there with Gatet and Jiroge, but uh, a good update on uh, the situation there at the moment. Um, forgive us for that uh, technical hitch with that, but I think uh, we've been duly informed of the goings-on there, and Gateta will continue to stay there until we are able to get uh, some full clarity on the matter, Linus. Yes, Yvonne, I think this is the second tech. Yeah. Uh, the second raid of its kind in the residence of uh, Jimmy Wanjigi. Uh, just after the election in 2017, uh, there was a similar siege, mm. very, very similar in manner because there was also the breaking down of the, mm. of, of the door. But something happened in 2017, which we <coughs> shall wait and see whether it happens. Uh, when in 2017 the home was raided by um, uh, police, uh, the then uh, for, former, prime, former Prime Minister Raila Odinga actually visited the home and uh, to express solidarity with uh, uh, Jimmy Wanjigi. And uh, this is happening again. Uh, will we see the uh, ODM party leader again going to uh, the, the home and? Uh, and uh, expressing uh, sol sol solidarity. It also came at a time when there is some change of political 
uh, alignments uh, because uh, Odinga's ODM is now part of uh, government. And uh, a raid like this is supposed <coughs> to be a government uh, <laughs> exercise. So <coughs> interesting times indeed. Uh, let's see. We'll keep our eyes on... Yeah. Uh, he will tell you ODM is not in government. Isn't that <coughs> what he's been saying? That they only donated some of their best minds. They came begging. Yeah. On his knees is what Raila said. <laughs> you want to go back to Gatete? <laughs> is that he's saying noted? <laughs> That's a good way of saying noted. Let's get back to broad-based <laughs> government and, uh, you know, those that are in there. So, um, Linus, maybe we talk about something that uh, we might be able to uh, have some more insights on. So, now the cabinet is finally